Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we know what a factor is and what we mean by factoring, do you know what a common factor is? And it turns out a common factor is a factor that is common to some or all terms in a polynomial. So a polynomial is an expression that has two or more terms. And so we look at each of those terms and we decide if there are what we call common factors. Remember, a polynomial is an expression with two or more terms. And if we find common factors, we can therefore factor them out. Hmm. That definition still may not exactly explain what a common factor is, but then we have some examples that hopefully will clarify it. So notice here we have AB squared, which can be written as A times B times B. And we have AC squared, which can be written as A times C times C times C. Notice A, B, and B are factors of AB squared, and A, C, C, C are factors of AC cubed. Notice that both of them contain a factor A, which is common to both. So both of these expressions have what we we'll call the common factor A, so A is therefore considered a common factor. If we look at these two expressions right here, we have 4x squared y and 4yz cubed, and we write it out as a product of its factors, 4 times x times x times y, and 4 times y times z times z times z. Notice both of them contain the factor 4, and both of them contain the factor y, which means that both 4 and y are common factors to both of these expressions. Now, more commonly, we, we look for common factors when we have an expression that looks like this. Here's a binomial, two terms, it's 3x squared plus 9x, and notice that both of these terms contain factors that are common. I can divide this term by 3, I can divide this term by 3, and basically that's what we call taking out a common factor or factoring out a common factor. We notice that 3 is common to these two terms, and so is x. So we can factor out a 3 and an x, so write as 3x times what's remaining. How do we know we did it correctly? Well, we're going to multiply things back in. If we multiply the 3x times x, we get 3x squared. If we multiply the 3x times 3, we get a 9x. So this can then be written as 3x times x, which is 3x squared, plus 3x times 3, which is 9x, which is the same expression that we started with. So what we did here is we went ahead and we factored out the common factors 3 and x, then we multiply it back in, we get the original equation back. So it's basically the distributive property taking backwards, that's factoring, or we divide both sides or both uh, terms by 3x, that's the same thing as factoring out. When we multiply them back in, we get the original expression. Here again, we have a polynomial. In this case, we have three terms. Notice that 2 and x are common in all the terms. That means that I can take each of the three terms and divide it by 2x. And so when we do that, we essentially will remove the 2x or factor out the 2x and write as a product of the, the factors 2x and what is remaining. Again, to make sure we did it correctly, we can multiply the 2x times the 2x squared, the 2x times the 6x, and the 2x times the 9. And if we do that, we get 4x cubed plus 2x times 6x, which is 12x squared, and 2x times 9, which is plus 18x. And look again, we get what we started with. So factoring out a common factor is looking at each of the terms, decide what is common, what are the common factors in each term, or what, what can we divide each term by? Equally, we have the same set of common factors. In this case, the common factors are 2. So 4x cubed divided by 2x gives me 2x squared. 12x squared divided by 2x gives me 6x. 18x divided by 2x gives me 9. So that's another way of looking at factoring out common factors. And so that's what we mean by a common factor. It's a factor that's common among some or all of the terms in an expression. And that is how it's done.